We've all taken those road trips when we use our cell phone as our primary way of navigation. You know, we use it for mappings, we use it to stream music, we use it just to be connected and feel that warm, snuggly blanket of having that connectivity. The problem is when we leave the main built up areas and those little towns along the way, hit those open roads and go interstates, and that's where you get those long sections of highway when there's no cars and no signal and that, that panic starts to set in. But don't worry, I got you. I've got a solution that allows you to boost the signal inside your car so you never have that panicked feeling ever again. Let me show you what it's all about. Break it down now, phone. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Right, so here it is. This is the vehicle signal booster kit that was sent to me by WeBoost. Thanks for doing that. And essentially it's made up of multiple parts, but they're each one labeled very, very cl clearly, step one through to five. And instead of actually just showing you the bits and pieces, let me take you through the install process because I am useless at any of this maintenance stuff. And even I could get this right. I'm sure you can as well. Whoa, hold on. Okay, let's go see if we can mount this on the car now. Right, step number one is to install the antenna. Now, this is magnetic. Now. You do need to have 12 inches around where this thing is going to be. So no antennas, no aerials, nothing else. I just put it there. Right. Step number two is this internal antenna. Now I already put the adhesive on the back. There's another adhesive in the car and basically this gets mounted somewhere internally. You can put it on the dash, you can put it on the seat. Let me show you where I've put mine. The next step is to connect this. This is step three and four. Now, it also has a backing plate, so you actually can mount this inside your vehicle. You can put this so it doesn't move. If you want to do that, um, if you don't, if you don't, you can just use the Velcro straps to keep it basically in place. Okay, now the important thing. On here, you've got the inside antenna. That's gonna be the one that we connected up on the door here. So let me show you do that. Right, and again, there's no tools required, you just basically push it in and that's it. On the other side, you've got the outside antenna. That's the one that's on the roof. The last bit is just to connect the power. This goes into your cigarette lighter or your socket. Okay, you can see that this is changing color. We're waiting for it to go green. There we go. Basically, that's it. So I've been using the system for quite a while, especially because I'm working remotely. So sometimes I've got to work from my vehicle wherever I happen to be and I need to upload another YouTube video and I need that data. And therefore this boosting just works beautifully. Now remember the keyword here is boosting. It boosts whatever signal there is. If I'm in areas where there's absolutely zero, well, of course there's nothing to boost, in which case I'm pretty much out of luck. Speaking of boosting of signal, check out some of these other videos over here talking about Wi-Fi and boosting and your home system. I've got all tips and tricks you guys will absolutely dig. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the head below to subscribe and I'll see you in those videos.